Ay, 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 Shabbos, Shabbos, Kodesh, Shabbos is almost here, and we're learning Torah with Rav Heshi Bloomstein of Kehilas Yismach Moshe, Woodmere, New York. Rebbe, it's always a pleasure learning Torah with you. Ay, ay, ay. This week's Parsha, I never know, never know which side of the fence to be on. And some of the Shvatim yeah. didn't know what side of the fence to be on. Tell me a little bit about this, about the decision that they had to make in going to Moshe. And Moshe was a little um, uncertain at first, and then afterwards, let, let, let's hear about it. There's a reason why we read the story uh, before uh, Tisha B'Av, in my, in my humble estimation. These two tribes made a decision, and the decision was not to go and settle in Israel proper, but to live on the Transjordan. After negotiating with Moshe Rabbeinu, they worked out a, a deal that they'll go in and fight the wars, and later they'll cross back over the Jordan and settle in the Transjordan. Moshe seemed to be okay with this arrangement, compromise, but the result of this was disastrous. All the commentaries suggest that they had too much focus on their needs, physical needs, and since the land was luscious and beautiful, they decided to live there. But by dividing themselves some way from Klai Yisrael, in the end, a tremendous, terrible thing came out of it. What happened? After they fought the wars, after they fought the wars on the side by side of the Jewish people, they started to go back. Before they go back, they built a Mizbech in Israel proper before they crossed over. It was amazing how all the Jews got so upset at them. They believed that these people were building this back at the end of the, of the Israel proper to build another base of Migdash, to rebel against them, to start their own story. They had to explain through Pinchas' help that well, that wasn't our objective. Our objective is that we should have something to remember in Israel proper, so our kids should know that to focus on Israel proper. But the commentaries explain when Jews divide from each other, it can never be good. It can never be good. And when the Jewish people who lived in Israel proper saw these people doing something that was innocent, at first, the first thing they did is they assumed that it was for the worst. And that's because Jewish people need to know that we have to be together as much as possible. We read this story before Tishmael to remind ourselves that even though sometimes that we are separated from each other, but our goal has to be to be united in Israel to live in our country and to support our country and to be there as soon as we possibly can. In the meantime, we have to mourn over the destruction of Israel and pray that the Mashiach will come and we'll be able to go back together as one. Amen. 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 This reminds me of so many unfortunate sad stories that I've experienced and witnessed over social media and other things. But I tell everybody, it's all about the Achtos. Yep. we got to bring all of Klai Yisrael and Am Yisrael together in Achtos. And learning from this story, this week's Parsha, it just reinforces my love of spreading the word of Achtos and bringing all units together. Right. Imagine if they didn't make that decision. Imagine if they, they decided to be together with everyone in Israel proper. There was, would have been so much more unity. There would have been so much more Achtos. It would have been so much more beautiful. As a result of their decision not to go into Israel proper, they were put into Gaulus years before the people who lived in Israel did. So there's oh, wow. results to their actions. This was all soul actions. Let's help spread Achdus and unity amongst all of Alis, Kla Yisrael, Am Yisrael, and everybody out there. Everyone have a great Shabbos. Rabbi Bloomstein, thank you so much for oh, yeah. spreading the love Amen. and words of Torah. Amen. Have a great Shabbos, everybody. Amen. Wasn't that clip amazing? Subscribe to my YouTube channel to get an endless supply of me! <laughs>